WIRAP was responding to recent media reports which said that two South African companies shipping manganese from Namibia to China are operating without the Environmental Clearance Certificate. Manganese ore is dropped off two kilometers from the harbor town, but some residents and the local business community are not happy. Nampo CEO had defended the two companies, saying they are contributing to the country's economy and provide much-needed employment and development, especially at the town of Ludritz. Yes, things must be done according to law. We should not risk any person's life, nor spoil the environment. Uh, let's mitigate those, but let us not stop development from happening. Namibia needs development. We must work together as Namibians to bring business to this country. But WIRAP admitted that things weren't done right as the two companies are operating without the environmental clearance certificate. He said the two companies are still waiting for the certificates. The, the proponents of this manganese export have uh, probably rushed a little bit faster than they should have in terms of bringing this manganese and uh, have, have uh, brought in this manganese without having finalized all the paperwork. Regarding the question around people's health safety, we wrap had this to say. And we have not seen any significant adverse impacts on the health of our people. Obviously, if, if there are any challenges, then we as people who are involved in this whole chain must make sure that those challenges are mitigated. 10 million tons of manganese is exported from South Africa every year and most of the production happens in the Northern Cape, which is close to Ludritz. If a small fraction of the manganese business comes through the port of Ludritz, Wirap says it can help boost the country's economy and give Transnamib some work to do. It will help Transnamib to move this cargo if we can get that manganese coming from the Northern Cape to the port of Lutrez. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Valfes Bay.